What's up guys, Justin here from Poorly Reviewed Beer. On tap for today's review are a pair of Blood Orange Pale Ales. Or we'll be starting off by checking out Elysium Brewing Company in Seattle, Washington, and their Super Fuzz Blood Orange Pale. So Elysium Brewing Company doesn't provide much in terms of uh, description or notes uh, for their beers, not on the bottle, not on the website. Um, all I can tell you is uh, malts used are pale and Munich. Hops used are bitter. Uh, the beer is bittered with German Northern Brewer and Cascade hops and finished with Citra and Amarillo hops. ABV is 6.4%, 45 IBUs. Let's go ahead and pour. All right. He's a yellow color. Kind of starting to push into gold, especially around the middle. A uh, fair amount of uh, material in the bottle, or in the glass, rather. I uh, can't really see much in the way of carbonation. Probably a finger or a little bit over a finger's worth of head on top. Let's give it a try. The flavors are pretty mild overall, I find. The the citrus is, is, is not super prominent. I, I feel it really plays a role in the mouthfeel of the beer. But the, the, the blood orange is kind of fusing with a little bit of the, the hop profile. And so I am getting a, a good a good amount of citrus overall. Maybe a little bit of a, a, fa a sorry a, a pine a pine note as well. But yeah, just a, a real juicy mouthfeel, I think, is what, what plays more than um, uh, than anything else. The, 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 the hot, profile, hot profile overall is pretty mild, um, and so not just uh, the flavor profile overall kind of matches. Um, certainly drinkable, there's a, 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 a fair amount of bitterness. Uh, at the very, very end of the drinking experience, like almost as I'm swallowing, the uh, the bitterness ramps up a little bit. But um, yeah, so uh, not not bad overall. Um, if you don't know, Elysian is one of the the craft breweries recently picked up by Anheuser Busch and Inb and Inbev. Inbev. Um, so we're just now starting to get it out here on the, at least in the South Carolina area. We've been getting it for the first time in the last two, three months, maybe a little bit more than that. So I uh, had always heard, I had always um, found them to be well regarded. Um, this is just, this is, uh, you know, just all right. Not, not, not super great. Certainly drinkable, but not the, not the best pale I've ever had. Um, in my beer drinking career. So that was the uh, the Elysium Super Fuzz, and now we'll move on to the next beer. All right, let's check out the next beer up from the Claw Brewing Company in Baltimore, Maryland. This is Neon Gypsy Blood Orange IPA. Here's what the brewery has to say. The first foray into our Hop Continuum series, our flagship IPA, infused with blood orange juice, proved so popular that it transcended the series to stand on its own outside as a worthy companion to the original Neon Gypsy. Notes of grapefruit, citrus, and pine form a, from a blend of seven hops, balances the tart sweetness of blood orange juice for a flavor profile that roams your palate long after the beer's bittersweet finish. Hop variety Columbus, Simcoe, Chinook, Amar Amarillo, Citra, Nuss and Savan, and Sirachi Ace. Grains, pale malt, dextrin, torrified wheat, flaked rye. 6.5% ABV, 55 IBUs. It's poor.
Okay, nice and clear. Nice pretty orange color. Plenty of material in the glass here as well. And a good amount of head. Now I would say pu pushing two fingers. Yeah, just about finger and a half to two fingers worth of head. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Just much bolder overall compared to the compared to the Elysian. Um, juicier mouthfeel, stronger tastes, uh, flavors. Lots of the lots of the orange up front, lots of pine in the back. Um, like re really really nice, really really nice. Yeah, just a, a hint of sweetness, just a, a very slight hint, um, a fair amount of bitterness all the way through, all the way through, really. Mm. Hard to hard to put down, frankly. Um, but a nice juicy mouthfeel. Um, when I, when I when I see these blood orange beers, and they seem to have uh, made a little bit of a push more this this is this past year and this past summer. This is really what I expect. Um, just really, really super tasty. Really, really great beer. Um, just terrific. Nice and juicy. Nice pine notes. Maybe just a hint of maltiness, but um, very much hop forward. Um, much more hop forward than malt, than bringing uh, the malt. Yeah, great stuff from uh, from Claw. Really, really tasty beer. I'm gonna, as I said, I'm getting kind of the a uh, little bit of the flavor even after I finish it as an aftertaste. Hint of orange. The 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 hot bitterness is hanging around, and maybe just a little bit of pine as well. But so, um, really tasty all the way through. Really, really nice. Great stuff. Uh, that's it for this edition of poorly reviewed beer. Uh, next time we're next time we'll be checking out a beer from an excellent brewery in Charlotte, North Carolina, Noda Brewing Company. Uh, that'll be coming on Tuesday. You can find all of our reviews, video and written, along with news, commentary, and more at poorlyreviewedbeer.com. Also check out PRB on Twitter and Facebook. You'll find all those links in the description below, and if you're so inclined, please like this video and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and see you around at Poorly Reviewed Beer.